Okay guys, we are gonna be making this easy chili recipe that I got yesterday that you saw me get, or we were talking about it. Anyway, it's from Stephanie from thecozycook.com and I'm gonna make it almost exactly like she has it on here, but I'm not gonna put as much cumin because we're not big fans of it. So I'm gonna put like a fourth of the amount that she said. And I'm gonna be putting in more garlic because I don't know. We like garlic and I already have it peeled because I just went crazy peeling garlic. And now I just gotta use my handy dandy little thing that Val sent me to crush it with. And I don't know, we always add extra garlic. I don't know why I'm telling y'all about that, but there you go. We're also not using a yellow onion. We're gonna use the red or purple onion, whatever you wanna call it, because that's what I have and I didn't want to use the sweet onions because I wanted it to have closer to the yellow onion flavor, I guess. And um, my ground beef is already cooked, so I don't have to cook that. I'm also using my Instant Pot to do the saute part. In fact, I need to turn it on to let it be getting hot. I'm gonna use that for the first part. Now, she has on her recipe the instructions to make it on the stove top, but she also has a slow cooker method so um she has that then she's got other all kinds of tips like for spice lovers if you like heat you double or triple the hot sauce or um a little more cayenne stuff like that um you can use ground turkey instead of ground beef i'm pretty sure you could use ground venison too uh for chicken broth she says i like the depth of flavor from using chicken broth as it adds a nice contrast to the beef but feel free to use beef broth or a combination of both. Now I'm gonna be using my uh, bouillon paste in the refrigerator for the chicken part, but I also have the bouillon powder for the beef part. Um, let's see, she says you want to drain the kidney beans, but rinsing them is optional. Do Doing so will reduce the amount of sodium that gets carried into the dish. Now, another thing we're doing different is we're using four cans of beans and not just one, because we like a lot of beans in ours. A lot of protein, you know. Um, you can also make it two, he two days ahead of time and then reheat it on the stove top. And if you add, if you need to, you could add another can, an eight ounce can of tomato pot, pot tomato sauce or passata uh, can be added as the chili may thicken during storage. All right, it's also, it says it's great for making chili mac recipes and leftovers are perfect for baked chili cheese dogs and um you can also make a version with uh she has a chili con carne version of the recipe for chunky beef and she also has a white chicken chili recipe so i'll link this below but um it's just what i got online y'all saw me do it so i'm gonna do the steps one through four the way it says on here which is what it says to do do steps one through four and the instant pot for the saute part which would usually be on the stove top but then instead of transferring it to the slow cooker i'm going to keep it in the instant pot and that way i don't have to mess up two dishes so i'm going to get y'all situated down here there's a lot of ingredients but there's a lot of flavor in this so i'm gonna get y'all down here so you can see what i'm doing and i'll be right back Okay, so I hope y'all can see this well. I've got a lot of things going on, and I'm not gonna really measure the olive oil. It says two tablespoons, but I'm just putting some in there because I don't wanna measure. <laughs> yep, we're gonna do things that way. All right, so now I'm gonna add my onions because that's the first thing you're supposed to add. And you're supposed to cook those. It says eight minutes, but I may not cook them that long because it's gonna be slow cooking for a while. So we're not gonna worry about, you know, that kind of thing exactly and i've got everything on my cutting board here i got my bell pepper i've got my garlic i've got my jalapeno my jalapeno was in the freezer um so uh i don't know why i'm telling you all that other than it does look a little flimsy <laughs> it whenever you freeze them and take them out you don't want to just eat them the way they are but you can cook with them and they'll be i mean you can eat it the way it is but they'll be a little less crunchity that's my word okay um oh it already smells good because 
onions always smell good um, whenever they're cooking. But we just got this on saute. I've got my beans over here. Yeah, y'all can see that kind of. They're over here. I did not do anything except drain them. I did not rinse them. And what I'm using is pinto beans, one can of those, two cans of the tricolor beans, which is kidney, pinto, and black beans, and one can of black beans that's this kind. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my cans. But so there's the other, the black beans. It's not focusing, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and that smells so good onions just smell good whenever they're cooking i i just i just love onion i don't know okay so we're gonna let these you know kind of let some of their uh natural sugars and stuff out and um well not natural let's see yeah because um you know Onions have a sweetness to them. If they're cooked, you can taste it more. And I know when they're raw, you can't taste it as much. Which is probably why a lot of kids don't like them. Oh, I forgot to open this one can. But that's okay. I've got my can opener still over here. Got all the rest of the cans open, but I didn't get that one open. You know, it's all right. Like I said, it's fine. All right. These are smelling so good. I wish that I could get my camera. Maybe I can if I move things around some so y'all can see into the pot. All right, I hear you. I know you're done. Stop, please. Okay, you said you were done. Be done. Yes, I talked to my things, whatever they are. So, yeah, I'm going to move stuff around. So, maybe I can get it to where you can see it. And I hope that my, um, this is gonna be a little different. I hope that my ground beef will be, there we go. Maybe maybe it won't smoke it, um, um, steam it up, and maybe y'all will be able to see in there a little bit better. And I did get me another small tripod that's shorter um, for whenever we use it at the mobile home, which I haven't used it there yet. I'm going to wait till after we move to start using it there. But whenever I'm cooking and I have, um, which I needed a short one anyway. But anyways, what I'm saying is whenever I am doing sit down videos and talking to you guys like I've done, like yesterday, I used it because it's not too tall. And also, like if I want to put it on the bar, it will be a good thing to do. All right, so that's getting good and translucent. They are doing what we want. All right, so now, um, you're supposed to season the ground beef and add that, but I'm not going to do that because the ground beef's already cooked. So I'm not putting salt and pepper on it. I'm not, I'm skipping that just because I already have it cooked. And I'm gonna let it be like it is for now and uh, hope that I don't mess up by doing that so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put the garlic the bell pepper and jalapeno pepper in here so here's the bell get that in there first because it's the easiest quite honestly Plus, I want a little bit of a layer for my garlic because I don't want the garlic to burn. And I will forever be grateful to Val for sending me this. I never had a pepper chef thing before. I didn't know much about pepper chef. But um, she has, from what I understand, she has one of these. And every other one like this that I ever purchased, I broke. So I was using the rocker one. I can't think of what it's called. I still love it. I will not get rid of it because I still love it. But I was using that to press all my garlic. 
because I don't use the bottled kind anymore because I found out all that stuff about it. I talked about it in a video. Mr. Tom knows more about it than I do. But, y'all, I'm, I'm concerned about him with his cancer diagnosis. I know he is still upbeat and he's still doing his things. He's still growing his little garden and everything. But, you know, it's just a sad situation. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. He's fighting it. All right. So, I'm going to rinse my hands real quick. Actually, no, I'm going to wait until I get this jalapeno in there, and then I'll rinse my hands or wash my hands. I'm going to wash them because jalapenos burn me. They burn everybody, though, honestly. Well, well I don't know. Jeff, it doesn't seem to bother him. Pretty much today, it's just going to be me cooking this. I'm not going to be doing anything else with y'all because I'm still pampering my knee. I'm still nursing it. Oh, this smells so good. So I'm just going to be cooking with y'all today. And um, the only other thing I'm actually doing, we did go to Bucks, Jeff and I did, because we needed to get Noah some bathroom, like, towel rack and all that stuff. And they, I wanted to get it while they had it and stuff. Because if you don't get it while Bucks has it, you don't get it. So, um, we did do that. Let's see. Alright. Let it cook for a couple minutes. And now, I'm not going to have to drain any grease, but I am going to go ahead and put this in there. It's a little bit still, it's still frozen quite a bit, but it'll crumble up easy. And it is going to cool down the pot, but that's all right. I kind of want it to cool down a little bit. But I need to get this kind of thawed some. And it's supposed to be two pounds uncooked. And I think that that will be right there around two pounds cooked. You know, once it's cooked, it'd be two pounds or... It had been two pounds before it was cooked, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I'm not using this. I got the idea to get this from Mandy in the making. And I, I forgot I had it and it was sitting there on it. Now, if I was doing the Instant Pot setting, all those brown bits and stuff, I'd be worried about those. But I'm not too worried right now. I don't want them to be in there, but... I'm not too worried about them. I'm fixing to go ahead and start getting some more stuff in here, though, because I think that's good. And I did not add any salt and pepper because I didn't season the meat. And that's what you're supposed to do is add salt and pepper to that. So we're going to go ahead and go on with the next part. We're going to add the seasonings, which are a lot. Let me get some brown sugar in my tablespoon. All right, let me make sure. All right, one tablespoon of brown sugar. And I'm not gonna need as much. I'm glad I washed that lid, because it fell right in there. I'm not gonna need as much tomato paste as I thought I was gonna need. So, let me just go ahead and get what I need out of there. It's supposed to be three tablespoons, and this is a half tablespoon, so I'm gonna get six. One. Come off, please. Two. Three. Put you right there on that lid. This is going to take forever. I should have measured this out. I should have looked at that. I thought it was a whole pan. Three, four. If 
five. One more, and we're going to be done. And then I can take this, uh, whatever's left in this can, and I'll freeze it in a little Ziploc. I do that whenever I don't need the whole thing. Okay, I'm not going to fool with that. I'm going to do something else. This is not good enough. <laughs> okay, one of you lovely ladies sent me these little bitty ones, which is perfect for this. And I don't have time to sit here and play with it much because I don't want any of my yum yums to burn. So I'm going to turn the saute part off because it's plenty hot. All right. Yep, I got it going too much in there. It's not burning though. It's not a burn smell. It's just charred. Not charred. That's not the right word. It's just a little dark. It's a little brown. That's all right. We're going to get it some stuff in here. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. We're just gonna shake it up. Always shake your Worcestershire. And we're gonna, you know, this is something you just do with your heart. That's the way you do with Worcestershire sauce. And also, I don't wanna measure it because I just don't right now because I'm, I'm a little bit, what do you call it? A little worried about it burning. Not, bur not worried as much as, you know. And also, we don't mind a little heat, so it's gonna have a little extra Texas heat in there probably. So you're supposed to have two teaspoons. That looks like about right. All right. That, I was hoping that ground beef would cool the pot down some. And it has, but not. it hasn't tamed it as much as I'd like. But it will, it's fine. We're not gonna fret, we're not gonna worry. It's gonna be yummy, it smells delicious. It does not smell burnt at all. If it smelled burnt, I might be crying right now. <laughs> all right. Somebody put the Gouda in the bottom of the refrigerator where it doesn't belong. Guess who did that? Jeffrey did it. <laughs> Jeff did it, he did it. All right, so. I need a cup of chicken broth, and to make a cup of chicken broth, you need one teaspoon of this. So I'm gonna grab me a teaspoon because I forgot about it. Let's just be completely honest. I forgot. I'm not gonna lie to you about it. I've got that on there, and I'm gonna use my little doodad to scoop it out. I'm gonna grab me a cup of water. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my water in there. All right. Which tamed everything. Now I'm going to put this in there. This is why I didn't put this away. I knew I'd need it again. All right. This is made out of silicone, it can get hot, it's fine. All right, so stir that up a little. I might turn the saute right back on just for a little bit. Okay, so, y'all, this is my first time cooking this, so I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I know. Let's go ahead and put the seasonings in there. All right, I'm gonna use one quarter teaspoon of cumin because y'all remember we don't love it a lot. So I'm not gonna use as much, but I think it needs some. You know, it that flavor needs to be there, but it doesn't need to overpower it. All right, so now we're gonna do some oregano. We need a whole teaspoon of that. I probably messed up because I don't think I was supposed to put those, uh, some of those seed stuff, some of those things in there. All right. 
mustard powder, a teaspoon of that, and a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and do my salt. And yeah, I'm using the same spoon, the same measuring spoon, but I don't mind. We don't mind. Oh dear, I mind that. This is mustard powder. Whoop, okay. Got a little extra there. Got a little wild. Ground mustard, delicious stuff. It's good, don't worry. A quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Definitely want to do what it says. Don't want too much of that because that stuff can get hot. And then a pinch of red pepper flakes. What is a pinch to Jeff and Noah? A lot. A pinch to me is about that much. <laughs> and then two tablespoons of chili powder. One. I messed up and should have just went ahead and um, done that differently. All right, we got that going. So I've got all those seasons in there. So now I, I was supposed to add the chicken broth later and the beef bouillon and the crushed well, I, I was supposed to add, no, I was supposed to add all of that at the same time, except I was supposed to add the chicken broth now. That's okay, I was a little bit ahead. It's okay. Now I'm gonna add the beef bouillon, which is, how much? One cube or one teaspoon of better than bouillon. So I really don't know how to judge that with this, with this kind. So I'm just gonna put a teaspoon of this in there. I would say a teaspoon because that's how much you need to make a cup. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and put this down. Sorry for doing that noise. We're gonna put this down on slow cook. And Samantha taught me that if you push slow cook multiple times, it will change the uh, amount, like the, the intensity. So if you ha push it one time it's on low if you push it twice it's like medium if you push it three times it's on high so there we go we know that now all right so we're going to add our tomatoes one can of diced tomatoes these have no salt in them but that's all right and then one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes we want to get all those out which is why i should have saved the other spatula but i didn't but we'll do the best we can with what we have. And it'll be all right. And from what the um, recipe says, cooking your onions helps with the acidity of your tomatoes. So that's good. We'll get these off of here. Now, there is one thing I'm a little bit concerned about because we are adding extra um, beans. I don't know if there'll be enough sauce in here, but I think there will just be a little bit thick. And I might just add some tomato sauce. We'll see. She does give you permission to do that. This is a mess though. All right, it smells so good, y'all. What am I needing to do now? All right, I've got the diced tomatoes. I've got the crushed tomatoes. I've got all of that and it was just boiling. So now I'm gonna go ahead and look at the part where it says crock pot method. All right, so you transfer it to this and then you add, well, we don't have to transfer because we're using an instant pot. Now I'm gonna add my beans, all my lovely yummy beans. All right, we got those in. This is definitely not my mama's chili. Not something she would eat either because it's got hot sauce and peppers and all that stuff in there. But it smells so good. All right, so I'm just gonna let it do the four, let's see, how long did it say? 
three to four hours on high. I'm just going to let it do that. Let me turn you down to four hours. And that's it. That's all I have to do. I know it's a lot. I know it is. And I'll be right back. I'm going to get my lid. Okay, so I've got all the refrigerated things put away. I've got all of my seasonings right here together. And I'm about to put this tomato paste in a little bag. I put all of the dishes that needed to be put in the dishwasher in there because that has not been run yet. And I have three things that I will have to hand wash. So everything in my kitchen is pretty much taken care of other than let me fold this down why didn't i do that anyway other than um putting these little seasonings away um this this recipe does have a lot of stuff but if we like it i feel like this would be a great recipe for a freezer meal and um you could like make up the seasoning for however many times you want to do it and just divide it that way i think it will be a good one for that um i've frozen chili before and it's yummy um sometimes it's better frozen to me like you don't eat it frozen <laughs> but frozen like put it together then freeze it and then cook it I did make a bit of a mess on that corner, on that edge right there, but that's all right. But this is what I do. I put it in a little bag and I squish it out flat. And then I freeze it. And then um, I know this is about three fourths of a can that I can put in something. I just freeze it. I'm gonna put it in this freezer just because it's easy and it's here. So throw this away, get these things put away, and y'all, supper will be done in just a few hours. That's another thing I like about the Instant Pot. It's got a timer. My slow cooker is so old it does not have a timer. So there's that. So it's, it's cooking. And it smells good. It smells real good. All right, I will come back whenever it's done because, like I said, my knees still bother me. It's not as bad as it was. I did rest it. I put heat on it, and I took care of it last night, yesterday. I didn't do much walking at all, and today I didn't either. But um, the only other thing I'm doing today is washing one load of clothes. So that's wash, dry, fold, <laughs> and that's it. And... Um, I'm just not doing anything else today because I want to rest this knee because tomorrow we're going back to the mobile home. And I know a lot of you are worried about us because we've been pushing, pushing, pushing to get stuff done at the mobile home. But if you just look up Montgomery, Alabama, you will learn why we want to get out of here. Our neighborhood is fine. We don't have any problems with anything here in our neighborhood. Never heard anything bad happening here. But y'all, it's so terrible, the stuff that happens around here. And it's just getting worse. It was not like this whenever we moved here. It was not like this just a few years ago. But I don't really want to talk about it on my channel much because I don't want y'all to worry. But if you look it up, you'll understand. You'll get it completely. Now, we, like I said, we started looking for property about three, four years ago. And that's when all the mess started. But it's just escalating. And we don't want to be in it. Plus, we need to get back close to family and back to the country where we belong. We don't belong in the city. But I'm going to go sit down rest my knee. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Or for you, it'll be just a few seconds whenever this is done. And we'll do a taste test. I will. You will. Somebody will. I don't know. But I'll leave the recipe link down below. Okay, guys. I've already showered and everything. And I said that would only be the chili recipe in this video. But I got something that was a surprise and I know where it's from it's from Amy and I did undo the tape but I haven't opened the box yet um, she sent us another goodie from Young Living so uh, I'm going to she sent several things luscious lemon foaming hand soap 
She sent us some things, so lots of things. I, we had discussed, like she had talked about she wanted to send me something, send us something else. But I didn't know she was sending us lots of things. I thought she sent him one little thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna turn this sideways and hopefully I'm not messing up. Okay. This is another one of the lanterns. So now I don't have to choose where I put it. I can have one in the living room and one in the office. It's the same lantern, so I'm not going to open it up because you guys already saw it. But, um, that's what it, the little lantern, the, the little white one. I already put the other one back into the box because I didn't want to use it here. I want to wait. This is so sweet. So she sent us another lantern. And she sent this. She was talking about maybe no one would like it. I don't know. Um, if he'll want it in his room or not, but if he does, he can have it in there. If he wants the lantern in his room, he can have it in there. But it's an owl, and I know he's a grown man, but in its kid sense, but you know, those things are fun too for grown ups. I think it's cute from the box, what it said, what it shows. Okay, so I'm not going to, um, open it completely like I did the other one and put liquid in it and stuff. This is probably the battery, the power cord. I'm not going to do all of that because I don't want to um I don't want to wet it, get it wet or anything. But y'all will see it once we get moved. And if he wants it in his room, it, it, you know it's got music. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. It plays music and it lights up. I want to say it does both. I think that's what it said on here. Built-in speaker. I think it does. It is so cute. I want to say it lights up like a night light. I could be wrong. It's got like a white noise sound. And if I'm, what is that showing about his toes? Touch sensitive on and off diffuser. So you do it with his feet? That's wild. I'm gonna have to learn how to use him, but there, he's got a speaker inside. But you put your um, your stuff in there, your water, and it shows where the, how you do it on the paperwork, of course. Of course on the paperwork. Oh goodness. This is so adorable. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show them to Noah. Noah just got something else in the mail that he needed. So he's checking that out. Noah, come here. It does have a light. Okay, I was right. And it has sound, that's so neat. Um, Amy sent us some things. That's, I like it. You want it? She sent it for I you. I don't know what it is. It's a diffuser, but it also has light and music. It does the oils. Oh. You don't, I mean. I can set it up in my new room. Whenever you can set it up in your new room? Okay. So he does, he likes it. He, you should see his face, but he's probably not going to come over here. He's got like a headlight on and stuff, and um, he just took a shower, but we both <laughs> just had our shower. Well, I had my shower while he was cutting grass. I told him I was going to go shower while he was doing that. Um, because supper was already, you know, going. It's almost done. But look how cute. He likes it. And he wants it in his room. So that's where it'll be. He thinks it's so cute. So, that is so adorable. So awesome. Um, 
me try to get it back in here the proper way. I don't know how I took it out. I should have paid better attention to how I took it out. Like that. Nope, maybe not. Okay, I'll get it back in there the proper way, but thank you so much, Amy. And this, I'm pretty sure I can smell it. It's luscious lemon. It smells like essential oils. Oh, that smells good. We don't usually use like liquid hand soap anymore because um, we just stopped buying it for whatever reason because not that we have anything against it, we don't. It was just, we had so much of the other that we just wanted to use it up because, you know, we're trying to use up stuff so before we move. I want to get him back in here. You should have seen Noah's face. <laughs> it was one of those happy faces, you know. He likes it. I have to show his daddy whenever he gets home. Oh, I got it in there right. Okay. Thank you so much, Amy. This is a blessing. This is truly a blessing. And I really do appreciate it. That's the right place. But since I have that, I probably will go ahead and put it in the bathroom. The hand soap. Because we just haven't bought any because we're trying to use up stuff. This is so cute. This little owl. He's so cute. I just love it. Okay, I'm going to um, go ahead and show y'all. Easy Touch Talons offer touch sensitive operations simple enough for kids to use. Oh, okay. So you do operate it with his toes. <laughs> That's so cool. And if you have it on high, it runs five to six hours. Low is eight hours. Intermittent is ten hours. One minute on, one minute off. It's got ten different lighting options to fit any mood. Light can run independently of the diffuser, so you don't have to have the diffuser on for the light to work. It's got a speaker with four white noise variations. So um, I used to sleep with a white noise machine. Exclusive Easy Touch Challenge offers touch sensitive power and light operation and simple enough for kids to use. Tickle Snowy's feet to wake up your owl friend. His name is Snowy. He's so cute. And I know that I love this because I already love the other one. And I know where I'm going to put it. Uh, I'm going to have this one in my office, I'm sure. Because uh, the other one's going to go in the living room uh, at the fireplace. So, and I'm probably going to put this in the bathroom now. I don't know. Maybe I should wait and use it at the mobile home. Oh, I could put it in Noah's bathroom at the mobile home because we don't have any soap in there right now. And we could go ahead and have it in there for whenever we go potty. I know that's something we don't talk about very often, but sometimes tinkles happen. And that's where the toilet is now. We have one in there. Anyway, I'm gonna hush because I'm getting goofy. This is such a great surprise and I'm very appreciative. I, I don't know how to even act whenever somebody gives me things, but I do really, I feel blessed. And I wanna thank you so much, Amy, and your family for thinking about us. So, um, I'm gonna go and show y'all the chili. It's got probably about 15 more minutes, so I'll show y'all that as soon as it's done. Okay, so here's the chili, and I'm gonna get some so I can do a taste test, but it looks and smells delicious. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let Noah try some to see what he thinks too. Well, not let him. I mean, he can try it whenever he wants to. but. You know what I'm saying? Jeff's not here right now, so he has to wait. But the other two of us don't. It looks so good, and it smells so good. Okay. Is this wobbling or not? I don't know. Uh, Noah's little thing worked for his TV. <laughs> uh, anyways, he tried the chili already, and he said it was good. But he would not want it to replace the way our other chili is because it's not close to that, right, Noah? It's not. I think I'm better, but this is good. He said he likes my regular chili better, but this is good. And see, that's the thing. I'm looking for something that can replace that, so I don't have to buy that chili beans with sauce. But I'm gonna try it. We're gonna see. It kind of, to me, smells a little bit like a taco soup. 
that's really what it smells like to me and that's what I've got in my mind that it's probably gonna taste like which I might have messed up by thinking that because it might taste like taco soup because of that does it taste anything like taco soup do you no no okay but if you want to we can replace the other we can replace the other for health purposes oh I know <laughs> if I want to replace the other chili we can replace it <laughs> For health purposes he'll get used to it that's what he said but the only reason I want to do my own is because um there have been times where I couldn't find the chili beans with sauce and stuff like that and I want to be able to make it myself there are chili sauce things like jars of sauce that you can get so anyway I'm kind of letting this cool a little bit and I did not put any cheese or anything like it like that in it like I normally do um so I could taste it just like it comes out of the slow cooker and uh Noah did the same he did not what is that noise I hear a humming it sounds like it's coming from outside but anyways he tasted it just like it came out of the pot before he did anything else to it but then he did add some cheese <laughs> after he tasted it he likes it though. He's not objective of it. It kind of tastes like a chili I've had before. I'm getting some heat. It does not taste bad at all but it is lacking that flavor that we're used to but this is a great this is a good chili I, I will be making this again I'm sure because you can have lots of different kinds of chili right but we might be able to tweak this a little bit maybe put some uh, extra tomato in it or because mine is really tomatoey maybe put some tomato sauce in it or maybe put some more tomato paste in it but this is good just like it is and and I'm a chili snob I don't like some chilies like chilies at restaurants I have never liked any of them but this this is yummy I recommend definitely it is a little bit spicy so if you're if you don't like spicy cut back on that you can also just omit it completely but that's pretty yummy to me get me some crackers I'm gonna chow down okay I'm trying to get this thing to be still but I want to tell you guys goodbye I'll see you next time I do appreciate Amy sending me those things that are beautiful and Noah really did like the owl I told Jeff about it whenever he called um at lunch because he called before I showed you the chili remember I said there was like 15 minutes less left well he called and I told him about that and he thought that was very sweet of you and we are very appreciative of it and you guys don't have to send us anything at all uh, which now we don't have the PO box I mean which I did do the what is it called the change of address thing but please don't if you I mean y'all don't have to send us anything at all just leaving us comments talking to us send us emails you know that kind of stuff is blessing to us but I do appreciate her blessing us our family with that because it's adorable and that little lantern is so pretty and I can put it in my office and it's just it's fun it's fun and it's nice and it's 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 a wonderful way to make your house smell good and use the essential oils and not have all the chemicals that's what it's all about for me anyway so i will talk to you guys again tomorrow thank you so much for hanging out with me today i do appreciate it i really hope you did enjoy this video i hope you enjoy the chili recipe if you try it if you have a chili recipe that you don't mind sharing send me an email let me know because or if you know of a channel that has done one you can't put the link to their channel in the the comments but you can tell me the name of their channel and I can go find it 
So if you know somebody, because you can't put links in there, YouTube won't allow you to. They only allow me to. So anyway, you can do that if you don't if you don't mind sharing. <laughs> but I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. I think I already said that. And if you don't mind, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing because I really do want to know. And if you have prayer requests, you can leave that down there as well. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.